And whilst in game two, saw many suggesting some new faces. Why have you opted for the same team? Yeah, I've opted for the same team basically just because uh, you know loyalty. Um, I mean, obviously, I could have I could have thrown in Bryce Cartwright uh, into the last game, but I decided not to uh, for obvious reason. Like I said, uh, he came in from injury and he missed the first game. And, you know, we won, and you know, why change your winning team? Obviously, we didn't win last game, so we could have changed it. There was reason to change it, but I've decided to give these guys another crack. They did the job in game one in Suncourt Stadium, and you know, I think we're going to do the job again. Um, you know, I have a lot of faith in the lads, and yeah, I just think we're going to get the job done. You won at Suncorp Stadium the first time. Can you do it again? Definitely, definitely. We can get the job done. Uh, like I said, we did it before. We can do it again. Uh, there's nothing stopping us from, from doing that, and you know, I expect us to fully go ahead and, and smash them. Uh, you know, hopefully it's not another, another one-point win with a field goal right to death, because that'll absolutely kill me. Uh, I might have a heart attack doing that, but... Uh, yeah, let's just hope, let's just hope that uh, everything goes to plan. Everything goes to plan and Michael Morgan doesn't cause too much havoc. So New South Wales already made their way out onto the field there. We are awaiting Queensland to make their way out onto the field. And you would think they'd be coming out to a, to a humongous reception. But unfortunately, the game, they pretty much just come out to silence for some reason. I don't really understand. But you can see there, Cherry Evans, Michael Morgan. They're the ones going to have to look out for. Actually, let's be honest. It's Michael Morgan. Michael motherfucking Morgan is so good in this game. He's ridiculous. I don't know what the hell he's rated. Probably like 150, honestly. He's, he's literally that good. You can see he puts in a kick. We charge it down for some stupid reason. I'm still on that mode of charging down, even though it's practically useless, like, I don't know, apart from, like, um, you know, circumstances where they're going for a field goal or something, it's basically useless, but Michael Morgan makes a break there, as he does, and he's about to make another one there, straight over the top of, I think it was Hawkinson, and then straight past Matty Moylan, Michael, uh, M Michael Morgan, like, what a beast, I li he literally is unplayable, he's unplayable in this game, um, what you gotta do is just make sure you get the, like, make the tackle, like, before the ball even gets to him, and keep it on the other side of the field. But it is 6-0 after, I think it's about 10 minutes or so. Hogson kicks it off, and Will Chambers passes it straight to Matty Scott, who knocks it on there. So we definitely um, got away with that one. We're not got away with it, but it's definitely a tough break for Queensland. But we strike back immediately there. It's Matty Morland on the inside ball. What a sexy little try that was there. That was incredible. You can see there, Maloney just going cross field. Matty Morland on the inside there. And that was so beautiful. There's a, there are those sort of tries that... I absolutely love to score. Um, really, they sort of... It kind of looks like a set play is what I'm trying to say. Um, not too many sort of plays or anything come off in this game, but the little inside pass and, uh, you know, the inside balls and that sort of stuff, um, they really work out very, very well. And they, they're the only tries that kind of look half realistic on this game, considering no forwards ever hit holes or anything like that. So, you know, if you score those ones, you know, you got pretty lucky. We have Hogginson taking it to the line, getting it to James Tommy. We know what he's all about. He's about scoring those tries, and he can't do it just then because he tried to draw and pass. Obviously, didn't work out there, but it has been all us. He made him more than making up for it. Well, he's not making up for it completely because he hasn't scored, but he has had a pretty good game so far. Apart, apart from that miss on, on Michael Morgan, which, let's be honest, the whole team's missing tackles on Michael Morgan, so I can't be too mad at Matty Morlin um, missing those kicks, but he did win a penalty, which Maloney slotted out from 40 metres, and that's pretty much replicating... Um, it replicated the the thing from uh, the kick from game one, except, obviously, that was for the win, pretty much. But, you know, nonetheless, it was still a... Um, Still, still a uh, a kick, and also, funnily enough, same uh, exact score lines at the moment from um, when they took the kick as well. So uh, that is quite interesting. And you see right here, right from um, the start of the second half, we've basically been on the attack here. Hogginson's going to be launching up the bomb. We've got the win um, going towards that way, but Trent Merrin actually was very good for us. He actually knocks it down away. Graham, you can argue if it was forward or backwards, but I think it's pretty obvious it went backwards. But it is going to be James Maloney coming up with a big play there, stripping the ball. And this is very, this is also very similar to game one, except this time we're not looking for a field goal, but it is Ryan James. He's actually had a phenomenal game so far. Him and Shannon Boy really laying the platform well off the bench there, and I think our bench has been outstanding. I'm really happy with 
the bench that we picked. But once again, it's Ryan James going straight through the middle of there. I think it was Sherry Evans who made a break as well um, just before that I didn't mention. But Trent Merrin, is he doing a bit of ball playing there? I think he got, I don't know who he even got it to, but Josh Dugan gets the ball. What can Dugan do? Gets it out to Blake Ferguson. And Blake Fingerson scores. In, sorry, Ferguson. Not Fingerson, obviously. Uh, and Fingerson scores in the corner there. You see their cheerleaders in the way a little bit. But who cares about that? Maloney slots the goal there. And he's two from two. Uh, well, he's actually three from three, let's be honest. Uh, he kicked the penalty goal for 40 out. Don't know why that never gets included in those little stats there. But Wade Graham makes a break here. Looks to draw and pass. And James Maloney is tackled. But basically, we're just killing some time. Don't really care about um, scoring, even though Joel Thompson obviously does. Just palm them out of the way. Says, get the fuck out of my way. But, uh, yeah, we end up giving the ball away. Just really stupid stuff there. Hopefully it doesn't end up costing us in the end as Queensland look to shift it to their right-hand side. It is Greg Inglis playing fullback there. Just palmed off one. But thankfully, Matty Mullen doesn't miss him like he did on uh, bloody Michael Morgan. But this time, he does make another tackle there. Staying Gagai. Um, just really, that will throw a lot at us, but we'll come out with those last-ditch um, efforts. And that's just what you have to do on Origin. You have to make sure you make those tackles. And right here, the clock's done. I decided to try and take him on, be a bit of an idiot with Brett Morris there. But uh, it didn't really matter. We won the game anyways. And New South Wales are the State of Origin champions. So basically, I've done what nearly no coach can do lately. And that's get the win uh, for New South Wales. And honestly, Craig Bellamy couldn't even get this done. He can coach Melbourne Storm to premierships. I can coach uh, the West Tigers to premierships. You know, maybe even the Zealand Warriors. But I can also do it for club and for state. So... Basically, I think I'm the greatest manager of all time. I think it's confirmed. I think that's pretty much confirmed. You can see there, Hawkinson lifting the trophy. Um, obviously, captain. Or he, I mean, he was the captain I selected. There's not really, there's not much captain material in this side. Um, if you look at the future, but um, yeah, Hawkinson, I suppose, was the best. Matty Moylan, he got man of the match there, and it's just a really, really good game for us. I'm going to hand you over to myself during the press conference after the game, and he'll round out the episode as well. You sit here as a state of origin champions. How does that feel? Mate, it feels amazing. Um, you know, obviously I've won premierships, won the Auckland Lions, but I don't think anything compares to this. Uh, I mean, at the time, I spent a lot of time trying to get that premiership, and I thought that was the pinnacle. That was the pinnacle, but I was wrong. I was wrong. State of origin. State of origin where it's at. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just relieved. I'm relieved more than anything. Uh, I have this cocky sort of attitude in terms of my coaching, and, you know, would have been a huge ego blow. Had we not won that, but, you know, obviously my coaching skills got the job done. Maloney's goal before half-time was special. Talk us through it. Yeah, well, basically, we got the penalty, and uh, I, sent, I sent the instructions down. I said, take the f***ing shot. Do not miss, otherwise you'll never be picked for New South Wales again. And, you know, James must have heard, and well, obviously he did here, because he, he slotted the goal out from, uh, from like, 40, 40 metres, something like that. Um, but, yeah, it was just... You know, Maloney, what a player he is. Him and Hocko, uh, they did a great job. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have Jimmy in the side. Will we see you take the reins again for the Blues next year? Uh, that, that's a good question. Um, I'm not signing on for next year. It's just a one-year deal. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of anything. I might hang up the boots or hang up hang up the jacket or whatever. Uh, hang up the coaching. I don't know what analogy you would use for coaching. But uh, basically, hanging up the boots. Uh Maybe for Origin, maybe for everything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly yet. But uh, yeah, I've still got a job to do at the Warriors. And, uh, and that's, that's my main focus at the moment. And we'll reassess things later at the end of the year. That's the end of the video, guys. If you did happen to enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT. Thanks for playing the description below. And if you're a Queensland fan, don't worry about it. It's just a video game. Um, just let us have this win. I don't think we're going to get too many uh, in the long run <laughs> for State of Origin. At least in the near future anyways. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.